everyone, it's Grant from Millennial Money here uh, in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. I wanted to talk about uh, next level money, next level life. So one of the things, um, you know, I've been interviewed literally hundreds of times. I've written over 300,000 words about money. I've been thinking about money pretty much nonstop for the last two years uh, on the Millennial Money blog. And one of the things people ask is, what's the biggest money lesson that you've learned? What is the one thing that we're missing out on? Uh, and the probably the best piece of advice that I could give anyone is that, you know, you can either control money or it can control you. And to master money is really mastering yourself. And money is so intimately linked uh, to all areas of our life that um, if we don't have control of our money, it's often reflected in other areas of our life, whether, you know, at our job or in our relationships. And so uh, to really get to the next level uh, of your life, uh, you should really look at your money and to really just push yourself forward as much as you can. A lot of personal finance experts, they recommend, you know, that you only save between five and that you should only save between five and 10% of your income. Um, but that's really, it's just not enough. Uh, you know, you should be always pushing yourself forward uh, when it comes to money, trying to save 1% more every day, every week, every month, uh, as much as you can. There's always a next level when it comes to money. You know, while autumn Automation is great. It's really just the starting point, and you should always be looking. And this is one of the reasons why you know I personally have done it every day and do it every day. I just spend five minutes in the morning. I call it my uh, morning money meditation, where I think about money. I think about the role that it has in my life. Uh, I look at my expenses. I look at uh, you know my cash flow, and I really just start my day with my cup of coffee, thinking about money uh, and being purposeful and intentional with how I think about it. So every day. I I'm always still thinking, what can I do more? How can I make more? Um, how can I save more? And you know, it's a discipline that I started really about seven years ago now. So when you're looking at all areas of your life, you know, if you want to, you know, leave your nine to five, if you want to launch a side hustle, if you want to scale your business, if you want to uh, save more money, if you want to retire early, if you want to spend more time with your kids, if you want to take a mini retirement, anything that you want to do in your life, look at how and think about how money factors into it. And oftentimes to get to that next level of your life, you need to get to the next level of your money. Uh, whether it's paying down your credit card debt that you have and you've been putting off, whether it's uh, starting to track your net worth instead of just your income, or maybe it's looking for a side hustle or a part-time job so you can make a little bit more money uh, and save a little bit more of it too. So the next time that you feel held back, um, you know, look at your money and think about, you know, how it's impacting every day in your life. As I mentioned, try to do it every day, uh, just five minutes. What does money mean to me? How is it factoring into my life? How can I use it? How can I master money instead of it mastering me? This is Grant from Millennial Money here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona at the sunset. We'll check you later. Peace.